Hello, and welcome to this video presentation on how to create and use SQL snippets in Apex SQL Complete. In Apex SQL Complete, there are over 200 built-in snippets, and they are placed in the list under the Snippets tab. To access the Snippets library from the Apex SQL Complete menu, click the Manage Snippets option. This will open the Snippets tab, showing the list of snippets, including SQL code for each snippet. To create a snippet, go to the Manage Snippets option and click the New button. This will open the new snippet form. Type the name of a snippet. In the Code section, insert some code and click the OK button. Another way to create a snippet is to pick snippet code directly from the query window. Let's paste code in the query window. Select the code, right-clicking in the query window, and choose the New Snippet option. As you can see, the selected code will be automatically inserted in the Code section of the New Snippet form. Type a name of the snippet and click the OK button. Let's delete this. To use the created snippet, right-click in the Query window and choose the Insert Snippet command. The hint list with all available snippets will be shown. Choose the desired snippet from the list. Another method for inserting snippets is to start typing the snippet name in the query window and choose a snippet from the hint list. By default, SQL snippets appear in the hint list. To remove them, go to the Apex SQL Complete menu, choose the Options option, and under the Hints tab, uncheck the Snippets checkbox. SQL snippets can be copied from one machine to another machine if the other machine already has installed Apex SQL Complete by using the Export-Import options from the Snippets tab. When using the Export option, all built-in and user-defined SQL snippets will be compressed as snippets.zip file. To import SQL snippets from the Snippets tab, click the Import button. From the Open window, navigate to the snippets.zip file and click the Open button. This will import SQL snippets in the list under the Snippets tab. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.